Growth is an essential part of life and it must be perfectly balanced. If your cells grow too much, you can get cancer as they divide and divide and can't stop. And if your cells grow too little, you can get skeletal problems, hindrance to body size and may even fail to develop within the womb. Proteins are key to this, as these are the building blocks that make up our cells and our bodies, and small changes in them and how they interact with each other can signal to cells to grow or stop. In my project, I wanted to find new proteins involved in controlling growth, and in doing so I came across a protein very, very little was known about. At the time, there were only two papers published about it, one of which showed that if it wasn't working properly, it could cause dwarfism in chickens and another showed that it not working had caused a case of severe skeletal problems in a human fetus. More recently, a group from the USA has shown that if you get rid of this protein in a mouse, those mice become 30 to 40% smaller. That is almost half the size. And this is a protein of completely unknown function. Therefore, I wanted to spend the rest of my PhD finding out what this protein was doing and how it was having such a dramatic effect on growth. So one of the first things I did was to type out the DNA sequence to the protein, which is like the script that cells read to make it, and add on the sequence for GFP, which is the bright green protein that makes jellyfish glow. Through doing this, when I put it into human cells, then make my protein with a bright green tag on the end, meaning when I look down a microscope, I'd be able to see exactly where in the cell it was. I did this, and what I saw was really, really striking. I could see a huge accumulation of perfectly spherical, hollow, donut-like structures dotted all around the cell in bright green, which were really odd. This gave me some serious detective work to do, staining these with a huge range of different things to try and find out what they were, and I found that they were filled with fat, as you can see in red in the picture behind me. This was really unusual, as these cells don't normally contain fat droplets, and certainly not on this scale. They're much more commonly seen in actual specialized fat cells, which these are not. So this led me to believe it was me forcing the cells to make more of my protein that was driving the formation of these fat droplets, finally giving me a major clue towards its function. I've now confirmed with other experiments that my protein is in fact important for the formation of fat droplets. As some other proteins that do this have been linked to dwarfism, and it's known that there's strong connections between your bone health and your fat. I believe by uncovering this previously unknown function, I've come just a little bit closer to answering the question of what controls growth. Thank you.